hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Debbie. Today I have an unboxing for you guys. And so do you remember when I said I was trying to purchase smaller diamond paintings so that I could have more of a finish and not spend months on doing just one? Yeah, well, apparently I said that, but I must not have meant it because I did a thing. I purchased this huge diamond painting from Dreamer Designs, and this is all Kim's fault, and I'm putting her information down there below, but she saw this and showed it to me, and I told her that I really liked it and that I was looking at it. Well, I missed when it initially was... Um, initially came on to their website and so when it came back she sent me a message saying that she'd gotten the notification she saw it and so i went immediately and had to get it so it is a big one it's actually quite heavy it came in a really sturdy box and the box was quite large which is always scary when you see that out on your porch but let's get into this and i want to show you what i bought and she does have an unboxing of this one. She's already unboxed hers, but I did not watch it because I want to be shocked. And I will watch hers after I unbox this one. But I just did not want to look at it and see until I got into this bad boy. I'm not sure when this is going to go up on my channel, but... I just couldn't wait. I have to open this. So on the back of Dreamer Designs box, it tells you how to diamond paint. Also tells you what comes in with the um, contents of the box. And if you scan this, you can redeem for 15% off. I also am an affiliate for Dreamer Designs. If you use my link, I may receive a um, small commission, which always goes back into the channel. I will put that up as well. And I love their boxes. I love purple, so it works out perfect for me. And what I really like about Dreamer Designs, it's going to be hard to get this box up, is that on the end of the box, it tells you, shows you what is in the box. So that way, when I put this on my shelf, I will know exactly what it is. Even though it's going to be one of my larger ones, I should not forget, but just in case... It also has a handle if you want to carry this and take it somewhere. And I don't know how much this weighs, but it is quite heavy, which is kind of scary. It means it's going to have a lot of drills. Now, let me get into this thing. I'm putting it on the floor. It's half as tall as I am. I am 5'2", so if that gives you any indication. I can't even get the box open. I really don't want to tear my box up. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's really bad when you can't even get in the box. Okay. Oh, my. All right. Are you guys ready? Because I don't know if I'm ready for this one. I'm not sure how ready I am with this. Oh, my gosh. It's so heavy. It's huge. Okay. There's nothing in the box. This is absolutely humongous. Okay, it comes in this really nice dust bag. And this is one of their new kits. I have not unboxed one of the new kits. It is hung on the tool kit. Oh my goodness. You guys see I'm on the struggle bus with this one. Now I'm really getting scared. Oh my gosh. It is so soft and look at the purple ribbon. It makes it really special when you unbox and they go to extra details for you. And it is so soft, it feels like velvet. It's just really, really soft. Okay, let's look at the toolkit first even though I am dying to get into this canvas. Absolutely dying to get into it. Okay, oh wow. Really, when I give you two of everything, you know you got something going on here. Okay. Wow. 
All right, let's get into this. And this is their new toolkit. You have this huge boat here, and it does come with a little gate that you can close to keep your drills in. That's really pretty. And again, it's their trademark purple. You have two purple squishies. You have one pin. That's a single on one end. Then they also give you, let's see, oh, we have a straightener. They give you a straightener, which is always helpful. And then you get a, I think this is a four place there. And then there is a two place here. I like these because they are thin. This one's a little thicker on this end, on the barrel. I usually use the metal ones anyway. They give you these really nice tweezers that they do have their name on. These are the Sharpie pointy ones, so be careful with those. And then they give you, this one you can use for special drills. It helps to pick them up a little easier. And then a little brush, that's kind of cool. A little brush if you want to, you know, brush off on your canvas, on the lint canvas. They also give you some baggies if you want to kit up using baggies, which I don't. They give you two little plates of purple wax. I've not had purple wax before. Make sure you do take off the plastic so you can put that on your pins. And they give you two of these. And then they give you these. And I'm assuming that this is where you can actually use on, well, I don't know, because that's not, well, I'm not sure what this is. I'll have to check into this. I was thinking that it was, a, I guess it is, yes it is. I didn't see the other end. Okay, you can put, use this as a divider for your tray. They give you two of these. If you want to divide it out and you're doing some colors in one section, you can divide this out. This one doesn't want to go on there, but it goes like this. I just can't get this, there we go. So you can do it like this and then put your other drills in if you're doing a section that has multi colors. So that's really nice. The bag is really nice. All right, so let's get into this. Wow, there's a lot of drills in here. A lot, a lot, a lot of drills. Ooh, it just keeps going and going and going. Okay, I know I can't get all of this in frame. There is no way in this world. Oh my gosh, it's still going. We're still going and going and going. Oh my gosh, we have to put this on the floor. Oh, wow. Okay, I may have to end up putting this one on the floor to show you. Wow, I am not gonna take all of these drills out because if I do, I will never get them back in. I will show you the drills in just a minute. Let's look at this masterpiece here. Wow, 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 okay. We're gonna have to do this like this. Okay, this is a 180 centimeters by 180, by 100, let me do this again. It's 180 centimeters by 60 centimeters. So the 60 doesn't sound very bad, but the 180 is quite long. So what I will do on this, oh, and it does have 92 colors. I have not seen a Dreamer Designs this large. I have not seen one that's also this many colors. And this is by, oh my goodness, Nikki Bomey. I know I butchered that and I am so terribly sorry, but this is what the thumbnail looks like if you can get an indication. I'm sure they're gonna have more of these on their website, but wow. So I just want to kind of go through here. I will put this on the floor. I don't even know if I can even get a really good shot of this on the floor because it is so, so long. I have this panned out as far as I can possibly pan it out. I might can bring you down just a little, see if that will, that will help a little bit. And let me go back over this way. I don't think even the floor is going to help because it's so long. It's, this will be my longest that I have done. 
I have not done 180 centimeters before. So on this one, instead of going across, I'm going to go, I guess I'll have to go up and down. I'll start on the left side and I'm just going to make my rows going this way because that way I can get some rows done. I will never get a row done if I go, if I'm going to go lengthwise, um, so, or widthwise. So let's take a look at this. This is gorgeous colors. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. I love the gazebo. We have a gazebo in our yard. We never use it, um, but it is really pretty, especially in the fall when all the trees around it are blooming. I know I'm going to miss a lot on here. It looks like there's a little, that could be like a little lake there or a little path. I think it's a bridge. That's what it is. This is a bridge here that goes over into the church. You have, it looks like a duck here, the bottom, a lot of foliage here. And then it's going to have this church that's right here. Good night. Um, <laughs> And this is a square, too, just to let you guys know. It's a square. And then we're going to go from the church to more foliage. And then look at this gorgeous house. I'm about to knock a bunch of stuff off. Um, wow. Look at this. We have Victorian lady here. We have this beautiful Victorian house here. And then we go over some more. And then there's a little cottage, it looks like, over on this side. Or it could be a barn. I'm not really sure. That looks like it could be a horse there. And then we just have more foliage. There's a, some chickens down at the bottom here. So this is absolutely stunning. We do have the thumbnail on both sides, the left and the right. And if you use a thumbnail, you'll definitely need it when you get way over here. This is going to take me, oh my gosh, years to do. And I mean years. But this is going to be so much fun and so beautiful. I'm just, I'm really amazed. And it looks like there's some mountains in the background. I mean, I just absolutely had to have this one. It didn't matter if it was a square around. It didn't matter how large that it was. But this is absolutely so Stunning. It has the scalloped edges so you can um, help out with the fraying. I love Dreamer Designs anyway. And I have not done a square of Dreamer Designs, but I have heard that the new squares are really good and that the quality is just amazing. So I'm going to move this out of the way where I'm going to put it. I'm just going to scoot this over just a little. I didn't even have to turn this over and try to straighten it out. It straightened out on its own, which I thought was really cool. So I'm going to put that here. And then I want to show you these four huge bags of drills. I didn't even look to see how many ABs. And there's no way I'm going to be able to figure out where all these ABs go. But there are, where are my ABs? There are... Ooh, a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight ABs that are in here. And I, you know I'm probably going to bling this up even more. I might can look and see if I can find where some of these ABs are. I'm assuming they're going to be like in the foliage. That is probably where we're going to find the ABs. But look at these colors and there's so many of them. This is one I'm more than likely going to use my Elizabeth Ward containers because this will be really good to use modular containers on. But these are so pretty. And I would say I would wait until the fall to start on this, but it's really not going to matter if I do it in the fall or I start in the spring or when I start because it's going to take me a really long time. And I will work on this with several other whips like I am so bad of doing. But look at these dark colors. They look so pretty. I just love this. And here are our ABs, that really pretty orange, like a burnt orange. Then we have the blue one here. So that's two of them. But they're so gorgeous. And then we have all these other colors here. There's another pink. Here's some of the ABs. 
Let me pull the ABs out just to show you the color. And let's see, it looks like, oh my gosh, there's no way. This will take me all day if I were to look and try to find out where these go. There's going to be, it looks like a combination of color blocking as well as some, um, hmm. There'll be some color blocking, which will be good for the multi-placing. Not a lot at one time. Some of this will be some color blocking. Um, so that will be nice. But we're also looking at um, having just a lot of colors in a small section, especially when it comes to all this foliage. So that's going to be quite interesting. What's going to really be interesting is kitting this up. That's going to be even more interesting. Oh, here's some more ABs. So, wow. We have more of this orange, the AB red. We have some pink ABs. Yeah, all these I can see are going up in the trees. And oh, look at that purple, that lavender AB. That is so pretty. And then we have the white, I have two bags of whites. So when am I going to start this one, guys? Let, I don't know. I already have so many working processes going now. I also am about to start the J-Wall event shortly, and that will be another large one. This one is larger than my J-Wall, which that's hard to believe. But I am just so excited about this one. I'm so glad that I was able to get it. I think that right now it is out of stock, but you can click on the email for Dreamer Designs, and when they come back in stock, they will notify you. And this one was rather expensive. It was for a diamond painting. It was $100, but for me, I have never used my Dreamer Design reward points. I hadn't even really thought about it. I'm always thinking about my Diamond Art Clubs, but not on my Dreamer Designs. And I had enough points to pay for all of this, plus I had points left over. And that was like a no-brainer. When I saw I had the points, I saw this one was available. They had just a few left whenever I got this. Then I knew this was for me and it was waiting for me. And it's something that I have no idea if I ever finish this. I mean, how in the world, where in the world am I going to put this? I would not frame this, but I would use um, some of the the contact um, that you can use on the back um, or I would do something to hang this and I think even the metal hangers are not going to work for this because it's going to be too heavy but I think that I would be able to use you know something to be able to put it up on the wall but I don't even think I have a wall this large this long to even put this up. But I didn't even think about that. Don't care if I don't have a place to put it. I just want to work on it. So it's going to be a while, unfortunately, before I get to think about this one. But when I do, I am definitely going to kit up with you guys. And I will definitely share my progress. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. If you are not a subscriber, please consider doing so. I think that you would like it here. And before you leave, if you would click on that like button, that helps me tremendously. Thanks again. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.